back to my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe this channel. A California federal judge on Wednesday said the United States President Donald Trump had signed a sworn statement asserting the voter argued numbers included in a 20 and 20 election lawsuit were accurate despite being told the numbers were not correct. United States District Judge David Carter made the disclosure in ordering lawyer John S. Mann to provide more emails to the Congressional Committee investigating the January 6, 2021 attack on the United States Capitol by Trump supporters. S. Mann was one of Trump's attorneys when the former president and his alias challenged his 2020 election lost to Jubilant. Representatives for Trump and Eastman did not immediately return requests for comment. Carter said Wednesday that Trump had signed a verification swearing under oath that the inaccurate fraud numbers were checked and correct or believed to be true and correct to the best of his knowledge and belief when alleging the improper counting of votes in a county in Georgia. The email shows that President Trump knew that the specific numbers of voter fraud were wrong but continued to to, to out those numbers, but it called and to the public, the judge word. Carter has previously ruled that Esmen and Trump had likely committed a felony by trying to pressure his then vice president to obstruct Congress. The ruling was made in a lawsuit filed by Esmen to block disclosure of the emails to the January 6 CLA committee following a congressional subpoena. Carter has professionally ordered Esmen to provide over 200 emails to the committee after the lawyer recited the subpoena and claimed that the communication were privileged. Election lawsuits were accorded. Despite being told the numbers were not correct, United States District Judge David Carter made the disclosure in ordering lawyer John S. Mann to provide more emails to the Congressional Committee investigating the January 6, 2021 attack on the United States Capitol by Trump supporters. S. Mann was one of Trump's attorneys when the former president and his alias challenged his 20 and 20 election lost to, lost to Jubilee. Representatives for Trump and Eastman did not immediately return requests for comment. Carter said Wednesday that Trump had signed a verification swearing under oath that the inaccurate fraud numbers were checked and correct or believed to be true and correct to the best of his knowledge and belief when alleging the improper counting of votes in a county in Georgia. The email shows that President Trump knew that the specific numbers of voter fraud were wrong but continued to, to, to out those numbers, but it called in to the public, the judge word. Carter has previously ruled that Esmond and Trump had likely committed a felony by trying to pressure his then vice president to obstruct Congress. The ruling was made in a lawsuit filed by Esmond to block disclosure of the emails to the January 6 CLA committee following a congressional subpoena. Carter has professionally ordered Esmond to provide over 200 emails to the committee after the lawyer recited the subpoena and claimed that the communication were privileged. The judge said Wednesday that the vast majority of emails still being sought by congressional investigators should not be handed over as illegal. Protection is given to attorneys and their slides. Only to the records. He said eight emails that would normally be shielded under those protection must be given to the committee after the found that the communication were in for the range of a crime. One of the few times those legal safeguards can be lifted. Carter found that four emails show that Asman and other lawyers suggested that the 
primary goal will in law suit was to delay Congress certification of the 20 and 20 election result. Maybe enough from me, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to this channel.